Hello. My name is Raymond Hayes. I'm the director of the Brain Data Analysis Research Division here at the university. We're engaged in some very exciting work that we are thrilled to share with you today. You're, you're very lucky to be here. We have been able to create a digital environment that's based on the brain data of a single subject. Um, we'll call him Walter, let's say. Now, this experience will work best if I tell you as little about Walter ahead of time as possible, but I will tell you that he has been diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder. Now, this is the incredible part. When you put on your headset, you will find yourself in a recreation of Walter's memory of this traumatic event. Now, I should say that this technology is very new and imperfect at this stage. Some of the data may be incomplete. Some may even be corrupted. What you are experiencing is a recorded consciousness. It's not unlike watching a movie. So no matter how real it may seem, it can't hurt you. You are completely safe. You are completely safe. In a couple of years, this technology is going to be perfected. It is going to be released in the world. And you, the very few lucky ones that are here today, are going to be able to tell your friends that you were there at the very beginning. And that is incredibly special. So thank you. guys, this is Mac Media Presents here with yet another video. This time we're doing a preview video and we're doing it for Transference, the Walter case. So, basically, Transference is a game that I've sort of been keeping my eye on, but it's kind of fell off my radar a little bit. Um, but now I've had the chance to play the demo, which is known as the Walter case, and I'm impressed. It, it's, it's really, really good. Um, so... One thing I do need to note straight away is that it gave me PT vibes, almost immediately. It built up that atmosphere, it has barely any music for the most part, but it really does give you goosebumps, it gives you the creeps. And I really liked that, um, it had me on the edge of my seat, there was points where I leapt out of my fucking seat. It Some was goddamn hero. It it was it was really good. Um so one of the things I like is obviously it uses heavy emphasis on color to try and build up this atmosphere as well as sound effects. Sometimes there's this screeching sound of static and you know you've got like this creepy voice coming over the radio and coming through like an answer machine. You've got characters who are talking and walking sort of ominously through the hallways it's it has this thing where you solve puzzles by going through time which is something very very interesting um obviously you, you flip these light switches and you end up in two different timelines so you've got one which is set during the 1980s and one which is set during i believe the early 2000s against al-qaeda terrorist training and so and military you have to solve puzzles by going to the each time and picking up items that will unlock a certain area in the other timeline. And I thought that was just, it was so cool. It was nice to see a horror game bring back puzzles. Obviously with Transference as well, basically the story is you go into a mental patient's head and you basically relive their traumatic experiences. This, to me, is the perfect setting for a horror game More than 40 countries and in the Middle East, it just it builds up us there so well. So, have granted air overall I'd say definitely play this game. You can download the demo now on the PlayStation Store. If you like the video guys, be sure to uh, subscribe to the channel, the bell to be notified. Until next time.